guys, today I'm going to show you how to make apple cider cupcakes and these are going to be semi homemade so they're not like fully from scratch so if you guys don't like that idea then I wouldn't suggest watching this video but um so I'm going to be using a cake box and we're going to be adding a whole bunch of different things into it to make it taste like an apple cider donut so I hope you guys can look past the fact that this is a semi homemade type of video. I'm just following a recipe that I got from a magazine. And I would just appreciate it if you guys didn't leave any comments down below saying how it's not professional to be using a box mix because it happened on one of my other videos. But what I do love about these cupcakes is that it's very easy. So if you're maybe like a stay at home mom or if you are in middle school, high school, or college like I am and it's a little bit harder to make cupcakes, you don't always have the time to make a full cupcake from scratch, this is a very easy way and I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you guys can look past that and want to learn how to make these cupcakes, then just keep watching. So first we're just going to start out with our cake mix and this is just a classic yellow cake mix. I don't really know which one to recommend you guys because I don't ever really use cake mixes, but this one turned out pretty well. So now we're just going to add our eggs and cinnamon and I was just adding my eggs in one at a time and then blending it after each time. And I will have all the ingredients in my blog for you guys, so I'll have that link down below. And right now I'm adding in sour cream. So now it's time to add in our apple cider because we can't have apple cider cupcakes without apple cider. So now I'm adding in the apples and I just put these in my food processor and just to kind of chop them up a little bit, but you guys can use a food grater if you don't have one. So I'm using these cute little checkered cupcake wrappers because I thought it kind of looked cute with an apple. I don't know, it just reminded me of the fall time. So I'm just lining my cupcake tins and I'm going to be using an ice cream scoop and just taking one scoop of the batter and putting it into each of the cupcakes. So I'm sure your cake box will tell you directions for baking your cupcakes, but I just bake mine at 350 degrees for 18 to 23 minutes, and if you just put a toothpick in the center of each cupcake, and if it comes out clean, then your cupcakes are done. So now it's time for the frosting, and I'm just adding in my butter. And the only thing that I would change about this frosting recipe is probably add a little bit more apple cider and cinnamon than I actually did in this recipe. So you might just want to kind of taste it as you go and see what you need more of. So now I'm just adding in the cinnamon and now we can add in the sugar. And I actually put too much sugar in mine so mine was a little too sweet so just be very careful and go very slow with this recipe. Now we can add in our apple cider. Now we're going to add in some red food coloring because the apples are red, so of course we have to color the frosting red. So for this next step, we're going to frost the cupcake. So I just took a big blob of frosting and I'm kind of just pushing it down and then kind of swirling it around the cupcake. I don't really know how to explain it, but if you just watch what I'm doing, it will kind of make sense. So 
So now we can add our sprinkles on. So I just put red sprinkles in a bowl and we can kind of just circle and push the cupcake into the sprinkles. And if you guys don't have red sprinkles, I have a tutorial on my channel of how to make sprinkles. So I'll put that link somewhere in the video. So for the stem, I just cut a tiny piece of chocolate and just put it into the center. And now for the leaves, we can just take these spearmint leaves and just place it right next to the piece of chocolate. channel I'm kind of doing a little fall series type of a thing so on Wednesday or Tuesday I'll have up how to make caramel apples so if you guys are interested in that then go check out my other channel and I'll have a link down below for that thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed bye